Hey, Kevin, can I ask you to bring the house lights up for a minute? You guys, I have wanted to do this for many, many years. Uh, I uh, never, ever have tweeted a selfie from the stage. So in a minute, when the house lights come up, I'm going to ask all of you people in your loudest voices to say hello to the internet, and uh, we will make a photo together. Let me turn that around. OK, everybody. Bon dia, internet. All right, use that photo and tweet that picture and then get rid of the phone so that the AV guys don't worry about feedback anymore. Um, thank you, Kevin. You can put the lights back down. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, it's an especial pleasure to be here in Catalonia. Uh, this is an absolutely beautiful part of the world, and uh, I've had the privilege of spending the last five or six days here sightseeing, enjoying the beautiful weather and the fantastic food. This is the first time we've ever, with O'Reilly, done this conference in uh, anywhere other than North America. So it's a big step for us. Uh, more than five years ago, we began doing the Hadoop World Show in New York City. And for the past three years, we've teamed up with O'Reilly to do that show jointly. This Barcelona show is the first one that we will do internationally. But stand by. We'll be back in California and San Jose in February and then in London in May. And I'm looking forward to a long series of these shows now worldwide, reflecting really the growth of this technology. And, you know, We've been able to watch the technology emerge over the last several years, six, eight years uh, since we began building this community and, and, and frankly, at Cloudera, this company. When I started talking to people about the technology, I talked about all these geeky projects, Pig and, and Hive and Scoop and Uzi. Over the years, of course, those became much better known. They became better known because they surround the Apache Hadoop project, this Beautiful little yellow elephant who lives in a sock drawer at Doug Cutting's house. I love this guy. I don't have to talk so much, though, about these individual projects. I think most people have heard of Hadoop. They understand the import and the value of big data. And we're beginning now to see those projects meld into a real platform. It's not any longer what is the geeky technology you use. It's increasingly, what are the cool problems that you are working on with that technology? And those problems really are cool. We're finding ways to produce and distribute clean energy in ways that were previously impossible, to understand how people consume electricity and gas in their homes or in their workplaces, and to advise utilities on how they might better produce and distribute that, anticipate demand, shape demand, in order to maximize the value of the energy that they're generating. Or, if you care, uh, in agriculture, we're finding ways to design plants that grow more effectively, to understand soil chemistry, salinity, temperature, moisture content, in order to maximize yields by planting the right crops in the right place. And I don't mean corn in a field. I mean actual individual varieties of corn by the foot in a field in order to take advantage of the very fine-grained mapping we can do now with sensor technology to understand how those crops will develop. We watched this technology go from a bunch of geeky projects into a platform. And I think right now, we're seeing something really interesting and important happen. A couple of years ago, uh, or about a year and a half ago at Cloudera, we began to talk about something that we call the Enterprise Data Hub. It's a way to collect data from many places, to incorporate it into a single large storage system with lots of different processing and analytic capabilities knit into the fabric of data management, of course, that companies, that organizations, that governments have been using for a long time to understand data. As the enterprise data hub has emerged, we've stopped talking so much about that foundational level, the software, and we began to talk about the beautiful structures that we can build on top, the applications, the tools. Rather than talking about the foundation, we're able to talk about the houses that we want to build. And that's a big transition that I think we'll see accelerate in the next year. Because I think what's happening now, and this is very important, I think what's happening now is that Hadoop is disappearing. Now, that's a 
kind of a weird thing for the founder of Cloudera to say, but bear with me. I want you to understand exactly what I mean when I say this. All right. We have seen over the last years a great upswell in interest among established and new vendors in this data management technology. Just inside Cloudera over the last uh, six months, we've announced real, meaningful, valuable partnerships with great companies. Teradata, one of the uh, top sponsors at this event, uh, is an example. But likewise, we're working with EMC, with Microsoft on cloud computing, with, with SAP, Oracle, HP, Red Hat, the ecosystem of companies that is embracing what was originally this curious, maybe disruptive, but, but, but unusual technology. The companies that are rallying around this Hadoop platform Embrace the entire industry now. The, the, the expansion of interest in this platform has been absolutely remarkable. All of those companies are platform companies. They build and deliver products to IT people, to people who wake up in the morning and go sit in dark, air-conditioned rooms and stare at screens all day. All of us in this platform business service technologists. But you know, the, the systems that we build and deliver don't really deliver value expressly to those technologists. What's interesting about big data isn't how easy it is to store and analyze. It's what you can do with it. What can you learn when you bring more data together than you've ever had before in more variety, in greater volume, and, and you apply new analytic techniques. That's a long way to say the value in big data isn't really in IT. It's really for the analysts, the scientists, the business people that are going to look at that data and understand it. I want to tell you a couple of stories that exemplify what I mean here. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, and in fact, there are folks from Children's Healthcare of Atlanta at the conference today, is a remarkable organization. It is a hospital network based in the southeast of the United States, runs a number of care facilities. One of the services that they provide to the community is a neonatal intensive care unit. This is for babies born early or babies born ill. This is a place where doctors and nurses work very, very hard to make those babies better. It's a harsh environment. It's noisy. It's, there's lots of beeping and alarms and carts rattling as they go by, and doctors and nurses talking. And of course, the babies are instrumented with heart monitors and temperature sensors and so on. Until very recently, it wasn't possible for CHOA, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, to collect and analyze that data in any easy way. More to the point, it's not just the sensor data streaming off the kids, but they'd like to get that environmental data. What is the audio footprint? What is the audio sound of the neonate intensive care unit? What's the light look like? So the CHOA team installed microphones and light sensors and collected that data along with the data streaming off of the monitors connected to the babies. Not for a day or two or three, what they'd been able to do for some time, but for long periods. And then they analyzed that data to correlate the distress that the babies felt. Oh, by the way, the babies signal distress by crying, and now we've got a microphone in the room that can hear that happening. The doctors are able to use the resulting analyses to deliver better care. They know now when the babies are likely to be distressed, and they can intervene. They can simply go be with their very sick patients. This is a remarkable use of big data. It's not about fraud or banking. It's, it's about a really important problem that we can solve now because we've got technology, a platform, and the analytics, the tools that run on top. I absolutely love this example. And there are many others. There's an organization based in New York, now global, with offices in Dublin and in London and elsewhere uh, in uh, the world called Datakind. Datakind's mission is to unleash the power of analytics and big data for non-governmental organizations, for charities. The folks at Datakind have worked with, for example, DC Action for Kids in Washington, DC, to help analyze the way that children learn and to deliver better targeted 
learning uh, packages for different learning modalities, or to giving directly, to understand where poverty is worst and to aim care, to aim uh, new donations at expressly those places. These are data and big data applications that I think are every bit as important as some of the really interesting commercial systems that we see being built. What we're seeing now is not one house custom built on a foundation of big data. We're seeing, because the platform is stable, because we have lots and lots of innovation and lots of experience rolling it out now, we're seeing whole neighborhoods created, lots of new tools, applications, analytics, running on top of this platform. This is a really exciting development. And by the way, it's not just those geeky tech companies, Cloudera and Teradata and Microsoft and EMC and friends that I named before. This isn't an industry movement. This is a global movement. The reason that we're here in Barcelona is that the interest in big data isn't limited by borders. We see contribution, innovation, and great new tools and applications emerging from absolutely everywhere in the world. I'm really excited about what this means. Now, I talked about some fantastic uh, greater good of the, of, of the uh, society applications just a moment ago, but you know, if we look at crass commercial considerations, there's also reason to be pretty excited. A study by Gartner has reported that 73% of enterprises are using or planning to deploy big data technology. 73% of enterprises. If you want to know why companies like Teradata and EMC and Oracle and, oh, by the way, Cloudera are so excited about this platform, this is it. This will require not just the platform, but the tools and applications that get built on top. And that's a thing that all of us as a community can do together. That's a commercial opportunity for absolutely everyone in this room. And if I had one wish for you walking out of here, it would be that you would be all fired up and go build those applications. I believe that the market for this technology annually will be $1 T trillion, 1,000,000 million dollars. Now that's a big number, but I can give you lots of reasons it's true. Just the relational market, the, the platforms that the big relational vendors sell and the tools and services that they run on are $100 billion a year now. And if we can't find a way to value big data, thousands of times more data at at least 10 times that scale. If we can't find a way to deliver value by understanding how to deliver better care to sick patients or better charity to parts of the world that need it, well then shame on us. I believe that this opportunity is going to emerge in the coming years and that this is the time for all of us to band together and to build the systems that deliver this kind of value. I don't believe we've ever seen anything like this in the tech sector uh, before. No one has ever been able to capture, analyze, and process data in the way that we have today, uh, and I think it's going to change the world. I would ask all of you, go forth and do this. 73% of enterprises have already declared that they want this technology, that they want these systems. They have come. They have come. We should build the systems that let them get value from their data in new ways. I am absolutely thrilled to be here with you in Barcelona. The conference content that the O'Reilly team has put together in uh, cooperation with Cloudera and with the program committee, absolutely world class. Most of all, though, you folks are the value of this conference. I'm confident that you'll find, as I have, in all of the Strata Hadoop World shows I've gone to, I'm confident you will find the real value happens out there in the hallways. So please, enjoy your time at the conference, get to the talks, learn a lot, but also get to know one another. I appreciate your time, and I look forward to seeing you over the next several days. Thank you.